we had a home visit, and they were just telling me about uh, Team Academy. And when I heard what they expected of me, I just thought, I, I can't do that. But it came to me that if I kept going to the same school I was going at before, um, I would not make it to wherever I wanted to go. In schools like Team Academy, you can be the smart person you want to be. The advantage of a charter school is that we're free to innovate as we see fit. We can develop our own curriculum, we can hire the best teachers we want. There's no one way, there's no typical student. We're definitely committed to doing whatever we need to do in order to get our kids to do the best in which they can. Our hope is that what we achieve here becomes a ripple effect and that if we can get our students in and through college, that everyone else in Newark can too. In the beginning, it was 80 students with six adults in the building and one floor on the top level of an old Catholic school, which at the time had not been used for about nine years, and so the roof was leaking, students had buckets on their desks. Yeah, it was just decrepit. <laughs> it, was, it was really bad. The building was highly under construction, but I guess you can say the most important part of the building was that I was learning. In a mere eight years, Team Charter Schools has established a new paradigm for education in Newark. When kids enter school, they can expect to be transformed, even if it's not an easy road. Fifth graders often enter Team Academy with a third grade level education. But what they may lack up front is quickly made up for by a 10 and a half month school year, classes that let out at five, and school on Saturdays. You had to earn everything the first day. It's going to be the memory that I remember for my entire life. Uh, there were no desks, no seats. You would come into the gym and sit on the floor. And when you finally do meet the expectation, you do earn your chair. Then you earn your desk. You earn your classroom. At first, I was used to having my chairs and my desk and my clothes. <laughs> but to give forth the idea that not everything comes easy. Like you sort of have to earn where you stand in the world. Like everything is not handed to you. Avery struggled some academically, you know. He came in a little bit below what he should have been. So it was really a very hard year for Avery that year. And he needed to repeat the seventh grade. I've given up on myself before because work got a little hard. And so I would goof off. This school made me see that that's only hurting me. With eighth grade nearly complete, Avery has his sights set on Team Charters High School, Newark Collegiate Academy. Le pido, que quiere decir pido? It is tough love, it's completely tough love, but they know that it's because I care about them. Ms. Nunez, I look to her as an older sister. She knows everything. She's like the main person who really knows me, gets me. You ready for the game on Thursday? Yeah. The relationships are, are remarkable. Every student here has been a part of my life. And so the rewarding thing is knowing that I come in here, I work hard, but that I'm really affecting them as well as they're affecting me. At Team Charter Schools, students and teachers are empowered by the collaborative spirit of learning together with results that are tangible. They provide an example for other institutions in Newark and beyond. They feel that the children's success is their success, and that's true. By the time they're done with eighth grade, they've not only caught up, but have surpassed most of their peers nationwide. To work here, you have to strongly believe in what we're doing. And that goal is to not only build relationships with our students, not only get them prepared for the outside world, but to use that to come back and be great citizens. 